Hi guys! Today's book is going to be a little bit different. I had Miss Shamhart from Mark Twain. I had her send me pictures of one of her books, Hickory Dickory Dock, for today's project. Today we are going to be making musical shakers out of toilet paper rolls because I know you all have them. Everybody has some toilet paper rolls right now. So we're going to read this story. Then we're going to make our own shakers out of our toilet paper rolls. And then Miss Shanhart might have an activity for my Mark Twain friends using their own shakers. So make sure that you do this project. Again, this book is called Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The duck quacked up the clock. The clock struck two and in she flew. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The cat prowled by the clock. The clock struck three, but cat didn't flee. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The dog flopped in the clock. The clock struck four, dog started to snore. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The bee buzzed at the clock. The clock struck five. He found a new hive. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The hen clucked round the clock. Hen gathered her chicks. The clock struck six. Hickory dickory dock. So it looks like that clock or that little clock there is getting a little bit crowded, doesn't it? Because now we have a duck, we have a cat, we have a dog, we have a bee, and now we have a chicken and her little chicks. A lot going on in there. Hickory Dickory Dock. The pig spilled on the clock. The clock struck seven. Pig's cheeks did redden. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The horse jumped over the clock. The clock struck eight. Oh no, he's late. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The cow backed into the clock. The clock struck nine and she missed the sign. Hickory dickory dock. So now we have a horse and a cow and a pig in there too. How are all these animals fitting inside this clock? Oh my goodness. Hickory dickory dock. The sheep tripped on the clock. The clock struck ten. Sheep tripped again. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The skunk snuck by the clock. The clock struck eleven. He stunk to high heaven. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The goat opened the clock. The clock struck 12. Goat hit on a shelf. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse came back to his clock. Get out, said mouse. Get out of my house. Hickory dickory dock. So did the mouse like all those animals being inside of his clock? I don't think so either. Hickory dickory dock. The farmer found the clock. No worse for wear from poor mouse's care. Hickory dickory dock. The end. So, did you guys like that story? I thought it was pretty silly how all those animals just kept fitting inside of that one clock. It was crazy. Alright, I hope you guys liked it. Again, in just a minute, we are going to get started making our toilet paper shakers. So, make sure you have some toilet paper roll, and you have some construction paper, some scissors and tape, and markers to decorate your project with. 
Hi guys! So today we are making another project. Once again, I have my friend Bennett here to help. Today we are making really cool shakers. You want to give it a shake, Bennett? We are making these really cool musical shakers. For my friends that are at Mark Twain, Miss Shamhart actually has an activity for you guys to do at home with your own shakers after you make them. So make sure that you make these so that way you can also participate in Miss Shamhart's activity. For this project, you will need construction paper, some white paper, you'll need some scissors, you'll need some rice or some beans. I need a white scissors. You'll need some rice or some beans, um, maybe beads, anything you want to put inside to make sure it makes that nice shaking noise. You'll need markers or crayons, maybe paint, whatever you want to use to decorate. Um, you'll need some tape and of course you will need paper towel rolls. Hopefully everybody has paper towel rolls right now, right Bennett? You don't. I do. I brought these. So hopefully you all have paper towel rolls. You probably should. So we're going to go ahead and get started. There you go, sir. We are going to start by putting the ends onto our shakers. So to do this, first you're going to pick out what color of construction paper you want to use. Um, if you're using scotch tape, it's probably going to be a little bit better because you're going to tape over it like this. Um, if it's scotch tape, you'll still be able to see your color really well. I just happen to have masking tape, so that's what I used. Bennett, what color would you like? My favorite color is green. Green? Because it's the color of the Grinch. Green, because it's the color of the Grinch. That's a really good color. What are you guys' favorite colors? Nothing. All right, I think I will do, I actually have a piece of paper over here. No, I don't. I did, I moved it. I will do yellow, because yellow is my favorite color. Why? I don't know. It's just a really happy looking color. Because it's the color of the duck? Maybe. I do like ducks. Ducks are pretty cute. I like so, the wings. We have our construction paper. Yep. Next thing we're going to do, but we're not going to start coloring on it, we are going to take our toilet paper roll. <laughs> I didn't want it. black. <laughs> well, if we're just using it to trace right now. So we're gonna take that color. We're gonna take our toilet paper roll. Yours does not look pretty. You're going to put it onto your paper, take your marker, and very carefully trace around it. Some of the younger kids might need help with this as the tracing is a little tricky. What about me? Do I need help? You might need a little bit of help here. I'll hold it for you and you can try to trace it. If you need to, we can also move the paper. That was pretty good. I'm just gonna Curve it just a little bit more for you. And we need to make two of them. Can we show them that side? You're going to color in a minute. we got to get this stuff taped on first. All right, so go ahead. I got it. I don't have You got that one? Oh. Very nice job, sir. Perfect. Go ahead and put the lid back on your marker. You can use a pencil or a marker. It doesn't matter what you use to trace. So, once you have your two circles traced, you know what we're gonna do next? Next, you're gonna use your scissors and carefully cut out your circles. So go ahead and try to cut those out for me, Bennett. I'm good at cutting things out. You're good at cutting things out? Awesome. Oops, I dropped my scissors. So Bennett's doing a really nice job cutting out his circles. Remember, make sure that you cut nice and slowly. It's not a race. Circles are usually harder to cut out than other shapes. Also remember, just like we do in class, if you're in my class, you can cut off the extra paper if you need to, to help you cut it out. Why do you need yours? Because I'm making one too. What about me? Yeah, cut out your other circle. How did you do that? Yours is false. Alrighty. If you need to, you might need to go back over and like just trim up the sides a little bit, which is totally fine. Because you do want it to fit nicely on the top. Once you're done cutting out your two circles, you can just set your trash to the side. And then you'll need your toilet paper roll oh, again. Mom. Nice job. 
Awesome. I'm going to trim this one just a little bit for us. Hey. Just a little bit. Did I do a good job? You did do a good job. You stayed on the lines for the most part. They did it. Your class did it. No, they would too. They've been working on cutting all year. Alrighty. Now, we are going to take... Oh, I forgot I already cut some out. Silly me. What are you going to say? Now, we are going to take our toilet paper roll. And some tape. And, and our circles. Glue. We're gonna do, we're only doing one end right now. So first you're gonna take one of your circles and set it on top. I would be better in your class. Then you're going to take a piece of tape and you're gonna tape it down. It's you're gonna tape it down a couple ways. So we're gonna first put one piece of tape going straight down. Then we're going to put another piece of tape going, down. going the other way to make like a plus sign. If you're using rice for the inside of yours, you might want to add a couple more. Let me go open it. You might want to add a couple more pieces of tape. Need help ripping it? Nope. I, I know I know if that's the way to do it. Let's make it a little bit longer. Hey. We just need a little bit longer. There. Oh, wow. Here, do it like right there. Uh, okay, right up here. No, right here. Okay. See? That works. Good job. All right. If you're doing rice, again, you will probably want to make sure that you cover, like, all the sides. If you don't cover all the sides, rice is likely to accidentally spill on out of there. And again, we're only doing one side right now. Because if we did both sides right now, we wouldn't be able to put in our beans or our rice or any of our noise making materials so once you have that taped on nicely very good job Bennett. if i do good on you maybe i can do good on oh you're you gonna try to do better than me again so let me cut all right me do so here we're gonna flip these upside down so that way the top's on the bottom how come i know everything and they don't i don't know we're going to add beans so Gonna open this up. And we're gonna add some beans to our shakers. Whoa. There you go, Bennett. Go ahead and put some of those into your shaker. You can put as much or as few as you would like. It'll get a little mess. It'll get a little like kind of messy it could get messy if you're not careful and you accidentally get the beans everywhere don't spill the beans i i have that game yeah that game is it a fun game i don't really know how to play oh it's a pretty you know, fun game i used to play it maybe i can play it soon sometime maybe we can play sometime that would be fun all right there's my bean beans when you're done with the beans get more tape we're gonna get more tape and put this on top. Thank you. Look at that. Then it should be late in the video. While he's working on taping his, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys the next step. The next step. Is nothing. Well, we want to decorate them. That's the most fun part. Mm -hmm. Next step, you're going to take Daddy. a white piece of paper. Oh. <laughs> you're losing the tape there, Bennett. Next piece of... Next piece... Next part of our project, we are going to take the white piece of paper. You're going to take your shaker, line it up at the bottom. Line it up at the bottom. And make a little mark. Parents of like the kindergartners, you might need to help them with this. This part will be a little bit tricky. What about for me? Yep, I think I might have to help you a little bit with this one. It's okay though. So, you're just going to do that. You're going to draw two dashes. One on the one side, one on the other side. Then you're going to take your paper and put it on. And we're going to fold it on those dashes. Okay. So it should look like that. Then simply take your scissors and cut along it. All the way along. Oh, nice job, Bennett. So, one second. One second. All right, so now we have our pieces of paper and we get to decorate them. So now, yeah, I'm gonna decorate 
you can color it however you would like. So just color it in, make it look really nice. If you want, you can try to make a design like with mine. I put lots of different hearts on it. I made it. Try, I tried to make it look really, really you make the rules. pretty. If you want, you could even try to do a pattern. We started talking about patterns a little bit in class. I have two. Oh yeah. So patterns, just a reminder, they are things that repeat. So like with letters, a pattern could be A, B, A, B, A, B. Colors, you could do like red, green, red, green, red, green. If you want to do a blue, pattern. Blue, red, blue. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. That's another pattern. Good job. If you also want, you could do a pattern with shapes. You could do like circle, square, circle, square. Keep going. So, you're going to completely... Decorate this. I'll color mine in a second. You're going to decorate this. Once you have it all decorated. I'm making rainbows. Very nice. While Bennett keeps decorating his, I'm going to show you what you need to do once you have yours decorated. You are going to take a piece of tape. And put it on. And put it at one end like this. I get take it. your roll. Tape it to the roll. Make sure it's lined up nicely. Okay. And Got then that. you just roll it up. up. I said that balls. You did, because you know what to do. You're going to roll it up. Oh, and you're going to put one more piece of tape right there. And boom, there's your shaker. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to keep working. We're going to finish up our stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. So if you have any questions, again, make sure that you email me and all of that fun stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope you liked making the shakers. I thought these were a pretty fun, neat little activity. Do you like it, Bennett? That was not a long time. Yeah, that one wasn't a very long one, was it? But I'm so happy coloring. But he's happy coloring. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Come on.